Hey, how's it going guys? This is Mark Lopez with NewTampaTrainer.com and New Tampa Fit Body Bootcamp. Today, I'm going to show you guys three different moves on how to use a foam roller. These are foam rollers. Now what these are do, um, these are known to be called as the, the poor man's deep tissue massage. And what this does is, you basically place your body on top of it and let your muscles roll over it. And what it does is, uh, your body basically when it's either from, from overworking or not working them at all, it'll build this tightness in the muscle around the, the, the tissue fibers around the muscle. And it creates these knots, in, these knots that basically limit your flexibility, they cause pain, joint discomfort, and um, basically just limit your range of motion on a day-to-day -day basis. Most people won't even notice just because if you've never used one of these, you really don't know where the tight spots are, the weakness spots are that are, that are really limiting your day-to-day your -day motions. So what we're gonna do is go, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate three different moves that will really loosen up, those, that especially the lower body, so you get a full range of motion and it'll feel much better throughout the day. Um, I have two different styles here. This first one, this is your basic 18-inch um, foam roller. This is, you can find these at Target, um, Dick Sporting Goods, Sports Authority, uh, even Walmart. And these are all right, these are decent for home use. Um, they're not as, as sturdy as strong, they're kind of like a extra thick pool noodle material and they'll probably go for like 10 or 15 bucks um, wherever you go. So you can try this, this is the easier one to find. The second one, this is, this is what I prefer, this is what I highly recommend you use and this is a high density foam roller. This is the 36 inch version and you can pick this off of Amazon, I've left a link at the bottom so you can take a look and you can purchase it yourself. Typically they go for anywhere from 25 to 40 dollars a piece. Um, the link I'm showing you at the bottom is for like 18 to 20 dollars um, shipped to you. So go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, the difference is this is much more sturdy whereas this is like pool noodle material. This is really like high density foam. Like it's, it's, it's solid if you were to take a look at it. Um, so what we're going to do is go ahead. I'm going to show you three different moves. We're going to basically just knead out those knots in your muscles that you don't even know you have. And when you do that, you're going to feel so much better just on your day to day movements, walking, sitting, uh, these are perfect, especially if you A, run on a regular basis, or B, you, you're just constantly sitting down at your job, in the car, so we're going to loosen up all those muscles. So, um, I don't like using this, so we're not going to mess with this. We're going to use our, the big boy, the high density. The first one we're going to, the first stretch that we're going to work on is the IT band. Now, what the IT band is the muscle that belongs all the way right around here. Just along here, that's your IT band. And what that does is basically connects from your hip down to your knee. These get really tight, especially if you're a runner, just a constant pounding on the pavement, on the ground, causes the tightness, the knots to build up. Or if you're just like a regular walker, you're, you're not gonna notice it until you get on one of these, but you'll really feel it. So what you wanna do is take the foam roller, kneel right next to it. I'm gonna put both hands over it. Now watch as I the, the leg that's closer, I'm, that's going to be my lower leg, I'm going to have that straight. This leg, I'm going to throw it over. So, both hands over. My bottom leg is flat. This top leg is over just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll. Right now it's underneath my hip. I'm going to roll from my hip down to my knee, all across here. Both hands over. I'm going to roll myself down until I hit my knee. And roll it back. And I can feel it a little bit right now. I haven't stretched in a bit. And you'll literally feel like almost, almost bruising along the side, and that's a good thing. That means you have a big knot. It's, it's limiting your flexibility. It's probably giving you some knee discomfort. And so by rolling this out on a regular basis, um, as often as every day, really, uh, this, will not, this will not hurt you in any significant way. Um, so I recommend doing it as often as possible. But you're gonna roll. And come back, back and forth. If there's any tight spots, go slowly over it. Hold it at a tight spot right there for a couple seconds, and back. You want to do about 30 seconds to a minute on each side. So I'm going to go for the next side. Same thing. Hands over. Bottom leg straight. Top leg over and roll. Make sure also that this bottom leg is nice and relaxed. What happens is when you when you roll over and you find a tight spot, your, your natural reaction is to clench and tighten up. You want to really just loosen it up, make sure that muscle is relaxed, that way you can really get all deep into those knots. So you're going to roll, and back. Again, same thing for about 30 seconds, 30 to 60 seconds. Back and forth. Just like that. Okay, the second one. 
We're going to stretch out the piriformis. What that is, it's the, the muscle that runs along your glutes up to your lower back. Um, typically, people will have tightness here, A, if you're either working out your glutes, maybe some deadlifts, if like a deadlifts, I actually did some yesterday, so a little tight right now. And what this will do is really alleviate a lot of lower back pains if you have any, so give this a shot. I'm going to take the foam roller, I'll put it up here to the side, so facing an angle. I'm going to sit on top of it right here. Sitting on it, both hands back, just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one leg, I'm going to take my right leg, cross it over so that my ankle is on the other knee. Just like that. And whichever leg is up to the side, that's the side I want to lean on. So I'm going to lean to my right side. Now all the pressure is on my, my gluteus muscle right here. And same thing, I'm just going to roll from like my lower back down, down my glutes. So like that. And roll. And again, you're going to feel some tightness. Back and forth, same thing. You want to do it for about 30 seconds each side. And feel free to go as low or as high as you'd like, even into that lower back. You really get a nice stretch going. And that's really going to help free up your hips, uh, increase your range of motion. You can do it to the other side, cross over to the leg, turn to that side, and same thing, and roll. Back and forth, really getting those gluteus muscles. Okay? And then the second, or second, the third stretch is going to be the hip flexors. Those are going to be the muscles right here. A lot of people tend to have really tight hip flexors because if you are at a desk job or you do, drop, do a lot of driving, if you notice, you're always in that seated position, that 90 degree angle. So your hip flexors, which are typically used to being elongated and stretched, are just compacted at a, on, like, you know, on a regular basis more often than they are stretched. And just being in that tight position so long, it just creates this knot. Just, it, it almost becomes permanent um, in, in that manner. So what you want to do with this, you want to roll over it, take out those knots. It'll free up your hips. You're going to, be, you're, you're going to notice it in your day-to-day -day walking, your running stride just your overall gait, and um, so that's what we want to focus on. So what you're going to do, basically I'm going to lay down onto it in like a plank position, and as I go over, I want this, the foam roll, to hit right here, right along this, and we want to kind of roll it like that. Okay, so I'm going to take it, I'm going to hover over it just like that, or I'm going to place the, my body over, my hip flexor over it, and you can either do both hands like this, or onto an elbow, make sure you guys can see me. And then turn away from the side. So if I have my right hip over it, turn towards the left so that you really feel that almost a pocket in your hip, and that's where your hip flexor is located. Make sure that leg is nice and relaxed also so you can expose the muscle, and just slowly forward and back. You want to try and feel a nice tight spot back and forth so you can really get those hips free. And as soon as you've done that for 30 to 60 seconds, same thing, bring it to the other side. I'm placing my hip flexor over the foam roller, turning to that side. This, the leg that's being used is nice and relaxed, exposing my hip flexor and rolling over for 30 to 60 seconds. So there you have it, three different exercises you could do with the foam roller. Um, this is meant to just increase athletic performance. This is to open up, increase your flexibility and just overall health. So take a look, again, I've posted a link as to where you can pick up one of these sturdy 36 inch ones or you can go by your local store uh, that has fitness products in it in the fitness aisle and you can pick up your basic, it's over there, your basic 18 inch um, lower, um, lower density foam roller. Alright, so this is Mark Lopez, NewTampaTrainer.com, New Tampa Fit Body Bootcamp. Again, have an awesome day.